Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 43 in chapter 32. Chapter 32 is about light reflection and refraction. See, now this is air, and we have a light beam incident, right, with the angle theta. There we make it as theta zero. And so this is air, so index of air, we write it as n naught is 1. Now, it incident to an uh, object with two layers. First layer is uh, the index is n1, we write it there, and the h, the depth, the thickness is h1, we write it there. And also this incident uh, angle, we can make it, uh, this refer refraction angle, we can make it as a theta 1. And then this light still travel, come to the second layer. The index of the second layer, we write it as n2. Now the number is there, and also we know the thickness of layer 2 is h2 as 3 cm. And we can also make this angle, refraction angle, as theta 2. Question, ask you the distance d in this picture. So for easily, we can consider this d should include this part, right, plus this part. And luckily, we know this thickness h1, so it should be D1, so this one we can consider as D1. This one we can consider as D2. So it should be D should equal to D1 plus D2. And this D1 is H1 times tangent theta. D2 as H2 times tangent theta, because this is H, this angle is tangent, right? Yeah, tangent theta. So this is what we want to know. Now, question looks like we need to find theta 1 and theta 2. So how to find theta 1 and theta 2? Look at the snail's law. Snail's told tell us the incident wave n0 uh, sin theta 0 is an incident wave equal to n1 sin theta 1 equal to n2 sin theta 2, right? Now we can say, so we can write the equation for theta 1 as arc sine. So n0 sin theta 0 divided by n1 input the given quantity, get the answer there. Similarly, we can get theta 2 as this 28.75 degree. Now you can see we can input theta 1 and theta 2 in this equation and get a final answer there. Thank you.